Sometimes all you want is a mindless game that rewards you with chimes, explosions, and other gifts for the senses to pass the time. The recent God of Blades made good on this front thanks to combining pseudo-endless gameplay with combat that remained entertaining for as long as new blades remained unlocked. And Ronin by Bulwark Studios adds to the concept with missions and skills to extend your runs. As a lone swordsman, you'll be travelling from left to right, swiping to jump or slide, avoiding blows from your enemies, and sliding towards them to unleash a single deadly strike that will defeat anyone standing in the way. In many respects, this is all you have to expect of the game. Enemies come in different flavours and require you to dodge in different ways, but if you time your jumps and strikes just right, you'll go far. You'll earn points and experience for dispatching foes or completing mini-missions handed out at the beginning of each area. Earn enough and you'll level up, gaining skill points to spend on active magic or passive skills. As a side note, as of the reviewed build, there's little to indicate that turning off the skills will activate a score multiplier that can also be leveled up over time. Wisps need to be collected to activate some of these abilities, but the trade-off is more than worth the effort as you're either launched ahead as an invincible wolf, stun enemies for a short period, survive a deadly blow, or regenerate one of your missing bars of health. As beautiful and simple as the game may seem, the experience fails to cohere into a flawless whole thanks to its counterintuitive design. Despite instructions to the contrary, jumping makes it easier to avoid arrows, as opposed to ducking underneath them. Similarly, the game asks you to slide into a blade of a polearm in order to defeat them. This wouldn't be problematic if the intuitive solution didn't result in placing you in significantly more danger. The player's sense of agency of the character's actions is effectively diminished. Thankfully, Bulwark Studios is working together with the community to resolve these issues, but until the full potential of the game is realised, it's simply a pretty distraction without much shelf life. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review you decide.